Hi everyone, this is Jody from Enjoy Life Anyway. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make fabric strips from a bed sheet. These strips of course can be used um, in crocheting and knitting projects. This particular sheet is going to be used to make a crocheted rag rug. Now the first thing we're going to do is fold the sheet. And um, as you've noticed, I have it folded so the selvage ends are together. Then you're going to fold it up one more time, just like this. So we've got the selvage ends here. Then we have another fold right here. But you'll notice the fold here is going to come up not quite to this edge. You want about four inches or so right here. And I'll show you why in a minute. Now, the things you're going to need to do this is um, a sharp pair of scissors and a sheet. Now, optional things that you can use and I like to use are a um, roller cutter like this one, a rotary cutter. This one will cut through several layers of fabric all at once. And then I also do better with some sort of straight edge. Um, so I have something here for that. And if you are using a rotary cutter like this, or there's several others on the market, you want to make sure you have something behind it. And what I have behind this one is just a um, heavy duty piece of plexiglass. I've used this piece of plexiglass many times, so I know that my countertop or tabletop or whatever I'm working on um, won't be destroyed by my cutter by using that to protect it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut this hem off. Um, it's a lot thicker than the rest of it, so we're just going to go ahead and cut it off. But um, we're not going to throw it away by any means. There is a lot of fabric in that hem. Sometimes the hem is the same pattern as the sheet. With this one, it's a contrasting, but it will match whatever it is. So you can use it in making your rug. And there is a lot of fabric in this hem because it's um, doubled over. So you're gonna be able to get a lot of cloth just from this hem. But for now, we're just gonna cut it away and be done with that. So I'm just gonna take my rotor cutter and my straight edge and just cut a line right all the way down and that's gone. Alright, now the next step you need to pay special attention to because this is what is going to make this work. What our aim is is to end up with one continuous piece of fabric. Um, if we cut too far or if we do something wrong where it's not a continuous piece of fabric, that's not a disaster. It can be knotted together, it can be sewn together. There's lots of different things you can do. But we do want to avoid that if we can. Now, I like to cut mine about an inch. And I'm not even going to measure. I'm just going to eyeball it. Um, if you're not using a rotary cutter, just use your scissors. And if I'm using scissors, I don't use a straight edge. I just cut up. And what we're going to do when we cut this is we're going to cut past this fold. But we are not going to cut all the way through the selvage. So we're going to cut through the fold but we're going to stop before we get to the selvage. That's very important. So I'm just going to cut a few strips here so you can see how that's done. Put my straight edge down and just cut right down it like that, stopping just before I get to the end. I'm going to do it again. Stopping just before I get to the end. This one didn't cut all the way through right there. I'm just going to snip that. Now 
Now, if you go online and look, you're going to find um, many places on the internet where they tell you how to do this. And, well, I must not have bare down hard enough, I guess, and cut all the way through. All right. Um, a lot of people like to rip their sheets, and that's fine. If you, if you want to rip them instead of cutting them, that's fine. That's totally up to you. Personally, I prefer cutting them because I don't end up with the strings um, that you typically get when you are um, cutting, I mean, when you're ripping. So by doing it this way, I'm avoiding the strings. Now I'm gonna cut just a couple more strips here, and then I'm going to show you, I'm not gonna go all the way down, but I wanna show you how this is gonna work. And again, just cutting through a couple places here where my rotary cutter didn't cut quite through. Always put your uh, protective cover back on there and that little snap just then did that for me. All right. This is what you're going to do. You're gonna take your top layer I'm just going to move this so you can see it a little bit better, more in the camera view. You're going to take this top layer, I'm going to start with that, and you are going to cut off completely one strip of fabric. You can just make a cut right there, so you're cutting off one strip of fabric. Continuing with that same top layer, the next thing you're going to do is skip one and cut the next one. Do you see what I did there? Skipped one and cut one. Now on, and you would continue on down, uh, cutting every other one all the way down. Now on your back side, you're not going to cut one single. You're going to start with a double. One is going to be cut with two. And the next one, again, all the way down, is going to be every other one. So on your top layer, you're going to start with one strip and then every other strip. On the bottom layer, you're going to have every other strip. You're going to do that all the way down your sheet. And let me show you what you end up with. This is the one that we started with. I'm just going to start rolling that. And what it does is it kind of zigzags so that what I'm going to end up with is one continuous strip of fabric. And that's how we're going to do it. I'm going to continue on and I'll be back with you in just a minute to show you what I ended up with. And that's it. You're done. This is the hardest uh, and least enjoyable part of the whole process for me. Um, it would be really nice if I could stand here long enough to, to go ahead and do two or three sheets at a time. Um, but usually I'll just do one sheet and then I'll quit and later on come back and do another sheet. I still have this top hem and I'm going to um, also cut it and use it for strips um, because it does match and I'm thinking that what I might do with this rag rug is actually use the solid color right in the middle and then start this on the outside. I'm not sure yet. Um, so I'm going to come back and cut that later but that's just the flat sheet and uh, hopefully I'll do some more videos. I'll show you how to do a fitted sheet um, which is basically the same process, but it is a little more tricky. Remember, your pillowcases can also be used. Um, I don't know how many yards I have here, 
but I did measure a single flat sheet one time and I ended up with about 177 yards. So if that helps you any um, in planning your projects, um, you want to have at least two or three sheets done um, before um, uh, doing your rug. Uh, coordinating colors, I have this. Uh, I have this little bit of tan nail that I can use. I also have a solid brown sheet that I think is going to do real well with this. Of course, you can just make one rug out of one uh, color and that would be just fine. Um, I like to do kind of rows with different, with different colors in it. But that's it for now. I hope you learned something that you could use and we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us. Again, this is Jody and enjoy life anyway. Goodbye. Just a little more of that cutting technique in case you didn't quite get that. What you're going to do, you're going to take your rotor cutter you're going to cut through all the layers cutting all the way down through that fold and almost to the selvage. Move your straight edge down a little bit or if you're not using that, you're just using scissors again, that's fine. So, again, cut all the way through, watch your fingers, through that fold, all the way up, almost to the selvage. And you're going to keep doing this all the way down your fabric. Again, if it doesn't cut all the way through, just come back with your scissors and snip those little pieces. You're cutting through a lot of fabric here, so unless it's a very heavy duty wheel, it may not cut completely through. more strips here. Alright, and again, this cutting technique at the top. At this point, now we're going to be cutting every other one on the top and on the bottom. You remember in the beginning, we cut one off the top before we went to cutting every other one. Now we're going to cut every other one all the way down both sides. So, cut here. And you can see that I have two. And I'm going to keep cutting two. And also on the back, cutting every other one. It really doesn't take long. And like I said, I like this method because. I don't end up with um, all the strings that you typically do when you tear. 
There are also other methods for cutting um, bed sheets. And whatever method you want to use is fine. But this is the one I like. This one goes the easiest for me. And there you have it, one continuous string.